Now let me make this video real short and simple. Y'all read the title, y'all saw the thumbnail. This is one of the hardest things for a female to do. And now it's very harder for you men. And I'm going to tell y'all the pros and cons on why you should never, never post nobody. To about after a year of talking to them. Reason number one, and y'all really have to be on a higher dimension to understand this. You really got to be mature and on your shit to understand this. First reason I would say is because of this. You have to give this person time to reveal themselves and tell you things about themselves before everybody start telling you lies or have told stories or untold stories or half stories and get all in your business. Make sure that y'all know each other business before people get in your business. For example, if she told you she talked to two guys from this neighborhood, this guy didn't smash. This guy thought that he smashed, but he really didn't because he's lying. Because he's mad because she didn't let him smash. Whenever you post her a year later and all your fake homeboys and frenemies and fake family, they're going to write you and say, hey, she was fucking with old boy and old boy and old boy. They're going to send you old videos. Some people are going to try to make old videos look new. They're going to do all these things to try to mess you up. So think about how it hit. It hit different whenever they tell you she was fucking with a guy named Jared and Michael. And she already told you about Jared and Michael. So it mean nothing to you. But when you hear Jared and Michael, you like, huh? 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 Same thing for the female. Oh, he beat his last baby mama. He's a drug dealer. He's no good. He stay with his mom. He cheats on all his baby mamas. He's not a good father. He don't have money like that. All the negativity. You get to meet him first. He'll tell you what he got going on. Or you will see what he got going on. But if you let the world in in the first six months of y'all dating, the world going to be the world. The internet is undefeated. Once you post this person or go in public with this person, that's when you're going to find out the worst. So after about a good six months to a year, you know what a person will or won't do. You know their character. If you're paying attention and you're serious about this person. So nobody would be able to tell you bullshit about this person. You'll be able even to decipher it for yourself. They could tell you something like, oh yeah, he beat the hell out. The two girls went to jail, stole their money, and this and that. Oh, he might have stole their money because I've been paying attention to his action. He do steal, but he damn sure won't hit no woman. How do I know? I done pushed him to the edge. I done slapped him. I done hit him. I done did everything for him to hit me. He still ain't hit me. So you won't got to ask him. You know that that story halfway fake, halfway not fake. Just like um, they say, hey, um, he got herpes. You just went to the doctor and you've been fucking him for a year. You don't have herpes. So you know he don't have them. You get what I'm saying? Long story short, reason number two. Whenever you introduce somebody to the public, you are inviting people to get in your business. Okay, that's like building a house and you don't start with the foundation first. If you build a roof first, how is it going to sit up in the air? If you build the walls before you build a floor, how is it going to stand up? You guys and you ladies are trying to build a foundation Without a foundation. You guys and women are trying to rush things. It's not time for things to be rushed. Okay. <clears throat> you can do what you want to do. As a grown woman or grown man. But understand every action has a reaction. And I don't think a lot of people be ready. For what they be ready for. That's why a lot of smart women. Hide the men that they're dating. That's why smart men hide the woman that they're dating. So what if y'all catch us out somewhere? We having dinner or having fun. So what? 
but I'm not finna broadcast it to the world. You understand what I'm saying? You don't know what we got going on. You get what I'm saying? What I mean by that is this. I may post her to make my baby mothers jealous and my ex jealous because I know that they looks up to this girl. But her baby daddy still dumb enough to pay the light bill and pay the child support. And he had a child most of the time. So the only way you get to spend time with her, because the daddy's in love with her, and he's watching the child most of the time. But as soon as you post her, or you go out in public, or you want the world to know, he find out he's salty. Now she don't have time for you because she got to watch the child. Now she asking you to borrow 200 because he's no longer paying it. So you really made your exes jealous. But you made her ex cut off money. Was it that important? Now you on child support for two women and off of it with one. And she finna put you on it because now you want to expose shit. You have to think about your future. Don't let a temporarily person or a temporarily decision mess up your permanent future. So, that's what messes up a lot of relationships. You didn't see her out with these guys, but everybody know that she talks to you. So, they calling you to let you know that she shook her ass on these guys at the club. Your girl think you home sleep. Everybody know that she talked to you because she keep posting you, you posting her. So, guess what? Everybody just said they saw you at the liquor house in the club. You can no longer lie and say that you sleep no more. Once you let the public know, now the public control your relationships. Y'all can go to sleep happy. Wake up to messages for what you posted, what you put out there. Now you're sad. Now she mad. Everybody got baggage. Everybody got a past. But when the information get to you 10 to 15 years later, after they done done this, half of us not true. Half of us true. The story not like they said. And it ain't happening. I'm going to tell y'all the craziest story, a mistake I made years ago. And that's when I stopped doing it. Everybody was telling me about this certain girl that was so freaking sexy. So I went after her. I got her. She made me wait months before I went to her house, before I smashed, before I met her kid. She was a good girl. And I'm thinking, they say she got a lot of money, but she'll get that butt up to a nigga with money. I'm full of money. What's the problem? She didn't care. She just kept buying me stuff. She wouldn't accept nothing. She just wanted to do for me. And I'm like, this is not adding up. So, of course... The homeboys called me. Oh, she fucked with this guy. She had fucked it with this guy. Oh, the guy that she called brother. She really dated. They told me all this stuff. I left this girl alone. I stopped fucking with her. She came back and showed me the same, the same homeboys was in her inbox begging her to drink her bath water. These are the words they were saying. She said, see, they just wanted what you got. I felt so stupid, y'all. The same guy that's telling me to leave her alone is literally in her inbox asking to drink her bath water when she was drinking mine. People want to be where you at or they wouldn't have nothing to say. If this woman is not jealous or this man is not jealous, they're not going to say nothing negative towards the relationship even if they know something negative. You understand what I'm saying? So you don't want to let nobody in your relationship, especially early. You want to know a person. Once you know a person, can't nobody tell you nothing about a person because you learn to know him for yourself and it ain't just he say, she say. And y'all, please start reacting when it comes to relationships. Start responding. It hit different, responding and reacting. Reactive is whenever somebody tell you something, you just, boom, just lash out. Make you look guilty. You may say something you regret. How many men or women woke up the next day like, damn, I got to, I shouldn't have said that. You can never regret silence. Silence is golden. So that's reacting. You're mad. You're reacting.
Okay. That's reacting. That's reacting. That's reactions. That's reacting. But think about it like this, y'all. Think about it like this. Responding is when you give yourself time to think. Even if you got to text the person and say, I'm busy. I'm taking a shot. Give yourself time to think. And then respond. I guaranteed you, if that girl or that man wrote you, you know what? I don't think you like me. It's over. If you just react, you're going to say, well, fuck it, then it's over. After you done did what you had to do and come down, you might say it's not like that. Don't let the devil play with your mind. You see the difference between reacting and responding? But if y'all want a part two of this video, then spam the comment section part two. Hit the like button. Buy some merch. Supporting the movement. I love all of y'all. I holla gang.